Hey everyone, it's uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Um, I've been thinking about this for, for the longest time about how to properly do message queuing um, between two different applications. Um, I've uh, reported a long time ago a framework called 0MQ, uh, which is an open source uh, message queuing system between uh, various uh, uh, technologies or language programming languages like Java ver uh, with uh, C Sharp or C++. Um, you might be asking why am I uh, investigating this. Uh, it's quite simple. Um, in the world of finance, uh, you might have a multiple number of uh, 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 applications that need to talk to each other. Um, and uh, in my case, I have uh, what I call stock screeners, which virtually uh, will uh, view or listen to a particular country of all the part uh, available stocks um, on the market for that particular country um, and I can set up a variety of indicators and they'll do something. So that do something is um, with uh, the ability to communicate with another application, namely something like my trade platform, um, in, in which case is a C-sharp application and the stock screener is uh, Java. So obviously if they're the same language, uh, programming language, it wouldn't be a real huge issue. But because they're two separate programming languages, um, I'm trying to find a, a common uh, interface to have the two applications talk to each other. So fortunately, I've discovered something called 0C. Um, it looks pretty good. It supports both uh, .NET and Java applications. So I just wanted to give you a quick demo of how this works. It, it looks fairly straightforward, um, but uh, let me just give you a quick rundown. Uh, right here at the website 0c.com, download, blah, 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 just come under download here. Um, obviously, I'm a Windows platform, but there is Linux, uh, OS X, and even Solaris uh, available. Um, and it, it just supports pretty well everything on the planet, uh, virtually any major language, PHP, Python, Ruby, uh, Android. It even supports uh, iPhone and iPad. Uh, so y this is a very powerful, it all seems to be free, true open source, um, as it says here, the new general public uh, GPL public license uh, as well. Um, so it, it, it's quite the uh, impressive, uh, um, uh, basically an impressive uh, framework. Um, specifically, I'm just focusing on Windows only. Uh, I only care about the .NET and the uh, Java components. Uh, these are the requirements. Um, the, there's a Visual Studio add-in for .NET applications, but uh, as it says, it's not available for uh, Visual Studio Express, so you need a pro version of Visual Studio for, to integrate with it. Um, also, Java, Java 6 or Java 5 is fine, um, so you should be good to go there. Um, and the other cool thing is it does have a, a, a very easy to understand uh, uh, demo. Um, so basically, if you come under 0c.com chat download HTML, there's two components here, or two uh, clients that you can um, download. Uh, first is the chat demo GUI, uh, Java, and then there's another one for .NET. So these are two separate clients using uh, the underlying uh, technology of this uh, zero C, it's, it's, it's actually called ICE, um, Internet Communication, whatever. Um, and uh, I just want to show you that these are um, available to just do a preview. Uh, source code is available um, uh, right here. Um, and uh, I'm not going to show you that, I just want to show you the capabilities of this. Uh, of these two clients talking to each other. So you can have no different than one Java client, uh, namely my stock, not stock screener and the .NET uh, client, which is in C Sharp for uh, my trading platform, as that's done in uh, C Sharp. So let me show you this. Uh, so you download these uh, two uh, zip files from this uh, uh, URL 0c.com chat, uh, download HTML. Um, and essentially, uh, if I navigate to the, uh, once you expand the folder, uh, you'll see here um, I have Java version, uh, in this case I think it's 1.7, uh, and then I run a, a Java jar chat demo GUI jar file, um, so it's this one right here. Um, and you can log in, 
there's no validation so anybody can jab and I got a user called Java uh, in this Java demo client um, and this one right here is the uh, .NET uh, application um, the .NET app so I'm gonna call this uh, I don't know call them net uh, and then hello whatever blah 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 password um, and it's gonna load and, and you just double click the exe of this one uh, it does come with a pre-compiled uh, set of um, DLLs so let me see what's going on here um, yeah okay so that's what the problem is I just okay so this is the concurrent one I've already had uh, running so essentially this one on the left is the Java uh, client and this uh, one on the right is the net compliant uh, um, client so let's say if I just do hello um, and it's communicating back to the .NET uh, app or .NET client so you can see hello and then if I I'll go hello Java um, you see the communication between the two so um, this is the power of the communication between the two um, and then I can send whatever I want from one app to the other uh, regardless uh, of the language platform um, so this is the power of it uh, and it's, 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 it's very quick uh, you could have this uh, spread over an internal network of some kind. Um, I just haven't gotten into the details, but I just want to show you this capability um, and this this particular um, uh, framework from Zero C. And again, the product is called uh, Ice E. Um, and there's uh, Eclipse, Visual Studio added. So those are important. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. You have one called Ice Fix. So in my case for the applications, I can build in these layers uh, so I can have fixed clients and then have a, a fixed bridge between the two. Um, I've got numerous issues happening between um, the different applications. So I can use this ice fix or ice, well I guess ice fix protocol between all my applications. Now, back in the day, I did show you a stock simulator um, uh, that does include a fix engine, but I can also include this one to make sure it will talk back to my uh, trading application uh, in the C sharp and then use this uh, in my stock simulator um, to talk to the uh, the uh, the trading platform. So all in all, this is a good product. Thought I'd just bring it to your attention and uh, see what you think and uh, blah 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 blah. Okay, have a good one.